Now we're going to take a look at how to develop a histogram for our data. I'm going to start by cleaning up our file a little bit, just deleting out some of this information. We're not going to need any more, which includes some of our manual calculations and then this extra column that we had. I'm going to leave the mean, variance, and standard deviation uh, in this file worksheet that we might end up using again later. So we're going to develop a histogram for column S. This is our child nutrition per pupil expenditures, total including state, local, and federal funds. And one of the things we need to know, we need to know a little bit of information about our data, including the minimum and maximum values. And we can actually have an equation for that in Excel for both the minimum and the maximum. And these again are some calculations we'll see that are easy to uh, complete using pivot tables and we'll see that in an upcoming lesson. So the equation for minimum is just equals min. And we'll select our data. Again, we're going to exclude that bottom row of the state total. So the minimum value is $304.53. And our maximum, this is equals max. And we're going to again select our data and then press the return key. Our maximum is just over $1,000. So it's important to know how we want to break up our data. And so I think it'll be reasonable in this case to use bins that are between 300 and 1100 and going in $100 increments. And so we'll start at 300. And if we put the first two Excel knows that we want an increment of 100 and then we can drag that down to 1100. So this is going to be our the bins that we use when we're creating our histogram. So that's something we need to create to do before we do the histogram. So now we're going to be using under the data ribbon, the data analysis tool, and we're going to generate a histogram. So we're going to select histogram And I'm going to clear these out. So for our input, we want column S all the way through the local systems, but not the state total. For our bin range, we need to select the bins that we just generated, 300 to 1100. And we'll put the output just in this worksheet. We'll place it here just to the right of our bins and it won't overlap any of our data. And then if you press OK, we'll see now that Excel has generated the frequency for each bin. And this is our data. And the way the bins are actually created, um, our bin that's labeled as 400 actually includes the values from 3 to 400. And then our we'll see at the very end our 1100 bin includes from uh, just over a thousand, so just barely greater than a thousand up to 1100. And so this is how we create our histogram data and we can actually graph this if we want to. So we can see how this looks. So we can create a, what's a most commonly displayed as a bar graph. And it'll help give us some idea of the distribution of the data for child nutrition per pupil expenditures. To do this, we're going to insert a graph. We can select the data. We're going to add a series. The series name, we'll call it per pupil, per pupil expenditure, PPE, that's child nutrition total. And then our values are going to be our frequencies. We'll do 300 to 1100. And then you can press OK. And we actually want to edit the horizontal axis labels to make them representative of our bins. They're defaulted to just be numbers uh, 1 through 9. So we're going to edit those and change those to the bin numbers. And somehow we got a label in there that we don't want. And so this is how. 
This is what our data looks like if we graph it. So this is the distribution in $100 increments of per pupil expenditures for the total state, federal, and local expenditures in child nutrition.